we will be discussing about sisal fiber extraction then properties and application sisal is an important leaf fiber in terms of its quality and applications it is obtained from the plant agava sisalana it is the botanical name of the plant sisal is a xerophilic crop what do you mean by xerophilic xerophilic crop or plant is a species that can adaptation to survive in an environment with little liquid water you either uh, simply you can call it as this fiber uh, this plant can survive in a like a desert area so that is the meaning of xerophic crop it can survive in a desert area that means even with little quantity of water the sisal fiber will survive okay then it is under a wide range of agro climatic condition and adaptive conditions except in water logged and ill drained soils so there is no uh, specific climatic condition is needed for the sisal plant so it can grow even in a desert areas the plant grows in a moist climatic conditions with a dry season and even in rocky soil so the countries where the sisal plant is grows usa florida then uh, east africa brazil indonesia philippines so these are all the countries so these are all the countries where this sisal plant is cultivating okay so the uh, botanical actually this is this fiber is extracted from the leaf of this particular plant it is usually long narrow which grow out from a center bud so as the leaf matures they gradually spread out horizontally so the leaves are dark green in color the length of the leaf is 1 to 2 meter in long if you see the width of the leaf is 10 to 20 cm in width at the base and 12 to 20 cm width at the widest part so that is the reason why we are extracting the fiber from the leaves okay the sisal leaves gradually taper to a sharp point the fibers placed longitudinally in the leaves and are most abundant near the leaf structure okay so where you can extract the fibers the fibers placed longitudinally in the leaves and are most abundant near the leaf surface so nearer the leaf surface you can extract the fiber okay so coming to the cultivation how this fiber is cultivating so the planting is done at the beginning of rainy season as the plants are become larger harvesting is done by cutting the outer leaves the fiber is removed by scraping away the pulp material by a process known as decretation okay so this process already we might be uh saw in the last classes i have shown two or three videos where this process has been uh, taking place how the fiber is extracted from the leaf or from the stem so in the degradation process the leaves are fed through set of fluted crushing rollers so the crushed leaves are held firmly at their centers and both ends passed between pairs of metal drums mounted with blades okay so this is the arrangement of your machine so where the leaves are passed the leaves are crushed in between the both ends passed between the pair of metal drums mounted with the blades so i will show you the video how the extraction has been carried out okay so the blade helps to remove the pulp by scraping in a similar manner centers are scraped 
so the fiber strands are washed and dried by means of either air or by means of other means okay so this is how the cultivation and the harvesting take place in case of sisal fiber so now let us discuss the properties of the sisal fiber sisal is one of the most widely used natural fiber and is very easily cultivated because there is no need of any fertilizer then there is no need of any protection while growing because even this fiber is grown in desert areas so that is the reason why i am mentioning here it is easily cultivated okay it is obtained from the sisal plant the plant i told you at the beginning the botanical name of the sisal plant agava sisalana so these plants produce rosy of sword shaped leaves with start out tooth and gradually lose their teeth with maturity so once the leaves attain its maturity the teeth portion is becoming gradually disappear okay it the teeth portion it becomes gradually lose their teeth portion once it attain its maturity so each leaves contains a number of long straight fibers which can be removed by a process called decretication okay so during decretication the leaves are beaten to remove the pulp and the plant material leaving crude tough fibers behind so the main purpose of beating the plant is in order to remove the pulp and the other uh, parts of the plant which is present in the sisal plant then only you can get the fiber ultimately so the fiber can be spun into thread either you can make it into a twines and you can use it for even for paper making products okay so coming to the other properties of sisal fiber sisal fiber is exceptionally durable with a low maintenance with minimum wear and tear this fiber is a recyclable fiber so sisal fibers are obtained from the outer leaf skin removing the inner pulp it is available as clyde herring bone and twill sisal fibers are anti static in nature it does not attract or trap dust particles and does not absorb moisture or water easily so this is the peculiar feature of this particular sisal fiber it is having good anti static property this fiber doesn't attract any dirt or dust particles similarly it this fiber does not absorb moisture readily in the sense it won't absorb water readily see the fiber it doesn't absorb water readily what it indicates the moisture content of the fiber is very very less then this fiber is not suitable for used for manufacturing a dress material so when it is used for manufacturing a dress material the material should have high moisture absorbency so then only the dress material will absorb the sweat readily which is secreted by our body the sweat has to transport to the atmosphere readily so that is the reason why we are using cotton and polyester material while making shirting or shooting or whatever may be the dress material so the fine the fine texture takes place actually it can easily dye so this fiber can be easily dyed and offer the largest range of dyed colors so this is a natural fiber you can use direct dyes or reactive dyes so the dyes which is used for dyeing natural fibers are mostly suitable to dye this sisal fiber so coming to the other properties it exhibits good sound absorbing property so this is the main advantage or specific properties in sisal it has 
good sound absorbing property so you can use it in terms of theaters so wherever you need sound absorbing material you can use it this material sisal can be used as a sound absorbing matter okay and impact absorbing properties so in terms of leaves it can be treated with natural borax so it can be used as a fire resisting property also if the sisal fiber is treated with borax so ultimately the fiber will have good fire resisting property so once it attains its fire resisting property so you can use it as a fire proof material in terms of fire fighters okay wherever there is a fire accident then this fiber can be used as a dress material then it can resist the fire okay so it can be used as a fire fighting clothes once it is treated with borax the fibers are made of elementary fibers that is 4 to 12 micrometer in diameter the the fibers are very finer please look at the diameter 4 to 12 micrometer in diameter the if you look at the length of the fiber it is 45 to 160 cm in length so the length of the plant so if you extract the fiber the length little bit it will gradually reduce not so much reduce it becomes from 30 cm to between uh, 120 cm if you yes if you look at the specific gravity of this fiber is 1370 if you look at the moisture absorption property if you look at the water absorption property it is 110 the tensile strength of this fiber is it is expressed in terms of mega pascal 347 to 378 so it has good tensile strength similarly the modulus of elasticity is also very very high it is having 15 giga pascals so already uh, so where this fiber is available i think this already i have discussed in the previous slide already i have discussed in the previous slides so coming to the chemical composition of sisal fiber so cellulose is having 65 percentage it occupies hemicellulose 12 percentage lignin it occupies 10 percentage wax material it contains 2 percentage so totally the chemical composition of the sisal fiber it contains 100 percentage if you look at the chemical composition it occupies 65 percentage okay so when you look at the chemical characteristics that is identification of sisal fiber so the sisal fiber it is basically cellulosic in nature so if you look at the color of the fiber it is gray ash color okay so after burning it will gives a paper smell or sometimes it will give a grass smell okay so if you burn the paper what the smell is coming out the similar type of smelling smell is coming out from the uh, sisal fiber okay similarly a grass type of smell so coming to the advantages they are very well resistant against moist these fibers have good tension resistance and having good tensile strength i told you at the beginning even this fiber is having good tensile strength property they are very well resistant against heat so sisal fibers are having a retained plastic shrinkage controlled cracking development at the earlier ages sisal fiber is conditioned in terms of sodium hydroxide solution retained uh, respectively with 72.7 percentage and 60.9 percentage of their initial strength so these are all the advantages of your sisal fiber 
so if you look at the disadvantages the decomposition in alkaline environment and it is uh, attacked by biological that is it will attack by insects so this is the main disadvantages in terms of sisal fiber so when the sisal fiber is treated with sodium hydroxide solution the fiber it will start decomposition so this fiber is readily attacked by your insects so okay so that is it will that is the drawback in case of sisal fiber so coming to the applications sisal is used commonly in shipping industry okay then it is also used as a core material of the steel wire cables of elevators being used as a lubricant it has good flexibility so traditionally sisal fiber was the leading material for agriculture twine okay when you are transporting uh, grains from one place to another place no that uh, grain packages bags so while transporting this uh, sisal thread or sisal twine it can be used for tightening purpose so although this has now been overtaken by polypropylene previously this sisal uh, twine is used nowadays this polypropylene twine is used okay then it is used in automobile industry with fiber glass as a composite material so this sisal fiber is used along with the glass fiber in order to make a composite material see the other products developed from sisal includes okay catch scratching post lumbar support belts rugs slippers clothes and disc buffers so these are all the products which are produced out of the sisal fiber so sisal is used by itself in carpets or in blends with wool and acrylic for a softer hand okay so sisal is used by itself in carpets or in blends with wool and acrylic for a softer hand so these are all the applications of your sisal fiber Sisal fiber is produced from various varieties of the agave plant which are indigenous to the arid regions of North and Central America. The plant is characterized by its leaves which grow to a length of over 1 meter and yield a long creamy white and very strong fiber. It's a hardy plant that prospers in areas of limited rainfall and is able to withstand extended periods of drought. Globally, the total fiber produced annually is estimated at approximately 220,000 tons from the main growing areas in South America, specifically in Brazil and Mexico, China and East Africa in Kenya, Tanzania and Madagascar. Historically, sisal fiber was primarily used to manufacture agricultural baler twine as well as other cordage and sacks. but these markets have declined in importance particularly for african sisal the high quality fiber produced in east africa is sold into a variety of markets and is used in high quality carpets buffing or polishing cloth wire rope cords and in specialty pulps that are used in the manufacture of among other things cigarette papers and banknotes Sisal fiber is increasingly used in the building industry particularly for plaster reinforcement. Sisal is also used in dartboards, handicrafts, and there is an emerging potential in composites for the car industry and in plastic products. Brazil is the largest producer of sisal fiber. Here, the plant is grown by small-scale farmers. and the leaves are processed manually through a small machine known as a raspador the dried fiber is sold to merchants and ultimately brushed and baled unlike in east africa 
where most fiber produced is exported. The majority of fiber produced in South America is consumed within the producing countries. In East Africa, sisal is almost exclusively produced on large-scale commercial plantations, primarily using a specially developed hybrid plant. During its lifespan, the plants can offer up to 20 cycles of cutting. The cut leaves are tied into bundles, which are then arranged at the end of planting rows for verification and collection. Leaf bundles are loaded by hand onto large trailers and transported to the processing factory. At the factory, the leaves are passed through a large machine known as a decorticator or corona where the fiber is extracted. Water is used in the decortication process in order to wash the fiber and to assist in the removal of leaf tissue. The wet fiber is then taken to drying grounds where it is spread onto wires and left to dry for a period of 24 hours. When thoroughly dry, the fiber is taken to the brush room where it is brushed to separate the individual fibers and prepare them for grading. The fiber is graded according to length, color and blemishes. After sorting, the different grades of fiber are placed in boxes which are delivered to a baling press where the fiber is compressed and consolidated into bales ready for shipment. Considerable attention is given to grading and quality control with the higher grades fetching a better price. The main grades produced in East Africa are 3L and UG. Fiber is a soft fiber extracted from the leaves of pineapple plant the botanical name is Ananas cormus. This plant is widely cultivated for the fruit in the tropical and subtropical regions of the world. Yes, most of you might be aware. The main purpose of the cultivation of this plant is for the fruit purpose only. So nowadays this uh, pineapple fruit is available. Okay, the season is in the month of August and September. The crop is replanted with new plants once in about uh, three years. The plant has very short main stem which produces at first roasty of leaves and later grows longitudinally. So this fiber is cultivated in Philippines, Taiwan, Brazil, Indonesia, India, Hawaii, West Indies are the chief uh, producers of pineapple plant. So the fiber is extracted either by means of decretication process or by combination of water rating and scrapping. So either you can do the by means of decretication process or you can combine with water rating and scrapping. So in either way you can uh, extract the fibers from the pineapple. The fiber can also be extracted by using machine. The extracted fiber will be in the form of long strands and slightly dull yellowish in color. Okay, the extracted fiber will be in the form of long strands and slightly dull yellowish in color. These fibers are then washed and dried, then gently combing the fibers in wet condition with fine pins separate the fibers from coarse bundles. So this is how you have to separate the fibers using fine pins. This fiber is fine with considerable length. Okay. So the pineapple fiber is more ordered that is it is more crystalline. The strength and elongation is comparable with cotton fibers. Please look at the point. The strength and elongation is comparable with your cotton fiber. However, both flexural rigidity and torsional rigidity are higher than that of your cotton fiber.
so these two properties are very much important this flexural rigidity and as well as the torsional rigidity are very much important so when you look at the pineapple fiber these two properties are very higher than that of your cotton fiber so this is the advantage in case of pineapple fiber so the initial modulus is very small because of the stripping of the cellulose molecule on the application of load so the initial modulus is very very uh, small so the reason is we are removing the cellulose molecule so that is the reason why the initial modulus is very very low so the fiber can be dyed by using direct dyes or basic dyes and reactive dyes so because since the fiber is a natural fiber so you can use direct dyes basic dyes reactive dyes to dye the material so these fibers are mostly used for making ropes table cloths mats and handbags so where these fibers are used these fibers are mostly used for making ropes table cloths mats and handbags 